Shake somebody's hand, smile real big. Shake somebody's hand that you've never shaken tonight. <laughs> Don't just keep shaking the same people. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Wonderful Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I hope you can prepare tonight. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. You are all welcome tonight. Eh? So which part of this uh, area you come from, whether from Tawilevu, Nandawa, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So you are most welcome in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We pray that God is going to touch you and visit you personally. Hallelujah. Tonight. Amen. Through the power of his Holy Spirit as we share and discuss the word of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Did you enjoy last night? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every time we're going to come, we're going to go deeper and deeper. Hallelujah. So hopefully, God is doing something in each and every one of us. If you have your Bible with you, can you come to the Gospel of Mark? The Gospel of Mark chapter 10. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Respectfully, we ask you to turn all your mobile phones off. Respectfully. Amen. We ask you to turn your mobile phones off. Or if there's an emergency, somebody has to ring you, can you put it on vibrate or silent or something so that you don't miss the call. Praise the Lord. But if you don't need it for the duration of the study, we respectfully ask you turn your mobile phone off so that it doesn't become a distraction during the study. Amen? Amen. Distraction to you and distraction to the rest of us. And we say that respectfully. And the church say? Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mark chapter 10. Are you there? Verse 15. Come down to verse 15. 1, 5. Mark chapter 10, verse 15 says, This is Jesus speaking. Who's speaking? Jesus. Jesus himself. Assuredly, I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will by no means enter it. That is very clear English language. Anybody got a Hindi Bible here? Anybody got a Hindi Bible? Nobody got a Hindi Bible. Anybody, anybody got a Hindi Bible app on their phone? Nobody. Okay, maybe you should you could download that eh? from Bible is. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Become a little child. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. They're talking, talking about the faith that we were discussing last night. Hallelujah. Salvation. Anybody got a question for, about salvation that we touched on last night? Any question? Anybody got a question? Do you have Do you have Yes. Uh, just can you brief on uh, about the healing and the salvation, the difference between the healing. Most of the time, uh, the people th uh, think that the pastor comes and prays them and they got the healing. At the same time, they think that they, they have already received the salvation. Okay. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Did you hear what he said? What Pastor Atish said? Okay. 
just because you got healed through the prayer of the pastor, that doesn't mean you are also saved. Salvation and healing is different. However, within, remember we talk about the salvation package in itself? Within the salvation package, healing is included. Praise the Lord. In other words, the same God that saved you is the same God that can also heal you. But the most important thing is the salvation, not the healing. Praise the Lord. Amen. In other words, you can get healed by the power of Parameshwar, and after that you can still go to hell. Do you know what I'm saying? Look at the Bible in the, with the children of Israel. They saw the power of God. They saw the pillar of fire and the pillar of cloud. Yet when they come to a very difficult time in their lives, they ended up worshipping the devil. Remember Molech and the golden calf. You remember that? Praise the Lord. They saw the manifestation of the power of Parmeshwar that was not enough for them. They ended back doing witchcraft. What's witchcraft in Hindi? Jadu. We are the same. We're no different to the Old Testament people. You can experience the power of God and still go back and do the oija and all the bandit and go back there. That's true. You're laughing now, but it's true. Because we've experienced it when visiting families. Eh? Yeah? We water baptized them, and we, we brought them, we do the fellowship in the house. Uh, I, you heard me, you, I did the testimony here one time about the, the man in Sawani. You remember that? Uh, for the people who went here, I'll tell it again. Can I, can I say it again? Amen. Praise the Lord. We were visiting one family in Sawani. Right? Because, because there were, how can I say, there were Hindus. Is that, is that correct? Yeah. I don't want to offend anybody here. But uh, you, you forgive me because I come from Australia, so I don't know the difference. So they, the guy was a Hindu. And um, we were visiting them. We were visiting them. And his stomach was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. This particular day when we went and visited him, it was like his stomach was like a basketball. It was big but hard. He came to the hospital in Suba and the doctor said, there's nothing wrong with you. But he himself knows there's something wrong. Because I touched his stomach and it was hard as a fully pumped basketball. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we laid down straight down the line with him. He said, I said to him, Baya. He said, if you want us to continue to come here and pray for you, you can't worship the Hindu gods. So it's one or the other. Because we found out, because he, we pray for him, you know, when we go visit him, then after that, then he go back and do the puja puja. Is that, is that correct? Is that the Hindu thing? Then he does, he go back, back and do the puja puja. I said, you can't do that. This God is a jealous God. It's either him or nobody else. And this is what he said. He said, okay. He said, um, I'm going back to the gods of my fathers. I said, okay, this is the last time we come into this place. So we prayed the prayer for him, and then we left. Two weeks later, we come again to Sawani. We find out he's dead. You see how quick this thing is? You can muck around with the devil and expect to survive. Praise the Lord. Amen. Be careful. Be careful. Eh? Witchcraft is nothing to be involved in once you come to the Lord Jesus Christ. You can't go do the oija, you can't go to the pandit eh? if you're coming to church. Don't mix the two. Don't mix the two. Now that seems very harsh, but you need to. I need to tell you the truth so you know it. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's very hard preaching, but you need to know it. Don't mess around with the devil. He'll kill you right where you stand. Any other question? Just did that answer the question? Any, anybody else have, have the question? Yes? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We're talking about salvation. Read the first paragraph for me, please. Two, three. 
salvation by what? The gift of faith. Praise the Lord. By the gift of faith. Listen, each and every one of us, each and every one of us, we all have the gift of faith in us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Each and every one of us. Give this in, don't worry. Okay? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's okay, he'll fix it up. Okay? In other words, nobody gets saved by doing something good. Amen? Each and every one of us, we have to come to Parmeshwa through what? Through faith. Praise the Lord. Okay? Each and every one of us, we have to come to Parmeshwar through faith. You have to believe in your heart eh, to receive Jesus Christ, to be your personal Savior and Lord. You cannot get saved any other way or any other method. There's no, there's no any other way, there's no any other method. Salvation is only found in Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Eh? So, you can't say like this, I believe in Jesus Christ, and you get saved. That doesn't happen, eh? Because you cannot just repeat the word, eh? you have to believe it from your heart. Understand? You have to believe it from your heart, eh? You can't just repeat what anybody else say. You have to believe it. That's what we're saying about faith. You gotta believe it in your heart, and confess it with your mouth. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because none of us are parrots or robots. Praise the Lord. We're not parrots. You know the parrot? You say, hello, cocky. And he goes, hello, cocky. Like that. What's that bird called in Fiji? Cocky. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I don't know what they call it over here, so I just, you know. But you know what I'm talking about. That bird. That bird that talks. You know that? Yeah, you say, hello, it goes, hello, like that. Not in that kind of voice, but anyway. Praise the Lord. So salvation requires what? Repentance. It requires repentance. Can I ask the question? Why? Why does salvation requires repentance? Why does it require repentance? Because each and every one of us must recognize, must come to the place where we recognize, uh, hallelujah, that we are sinners and we need a savior. We cannot save our own selves. Eh? We deal with that last night. Praise the Lord. Amen. You cannot save yourself. You and I cannot save you. We need to recognize that we are sinners in need of a savior. What's the savior's name? Jesus. Eh? And repentance goes beyond saying, I am what? Sorry. Eh? What happens if you have an argument with your husband? How many married women here? All the married women, come on, don't be shy, put your hands up. How many married women say, come here, and your husband says, I love you, honey. <laughs> and he doesn't get you a bunch of flowers on your birthday. No chocolates on your anniversary. And you're wondering, does he really love me? Or is he just saying it for the sake of saying? How many of you women, you don't want to hear it. You want to see something. Put your hands up. The same women. Praise the Lord. Are you saying? Hallelujah. Because you don't just don't want to hear it. Eh? You want some action. Man, if you love me, brother, where's the chocolate? Where's the flowers? Where's the perfume? Where's the new sari? And the ladies say, Amen. all the husbands, listen up, or you husbands to be. Pay attention. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Anybody turn to the single boys and says, you better take notes. Come on, say to the single boys in the church, you better take notes. He's preaching to you right now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. There's a practical side to the gospel. It's not just spiritual, 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 spiritual. There's a practical side to the gospel. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Salvation is defined as being delivered by God's grace from sin and from its consequences of eternal punishment and being raised to newness of life in Christ Jesus. Salvation comes to those who repent and by faith receive Jesus Christ alone as personal Savior and Lord. Notice the condition to salvation. Huh? Huh? Repentance comes first. Repentance comes first. In other words, we must confess our sins. Because within the repentance itself, uh, there is an admittance that we are guilty before God. Amen? Within, hallelujah, salad, within, within the repentance itself, there is, okay, there is what we call, hallelujah, okay, a sense of guilt that we are sinners. And that's the work of the Holy Spirit. Eh? The work of the Holy Spirit is to convict every person that we are sinners. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. You notice sometimes when the, when the worship song is singing eh, and the Holy Spirit is moving, sometimes you find tears running down your eyes, but you don't know why you're crying for. How many of you have been in that zone or in that place? Yeah, that's why. That's the Holy Spirit working. Amen? That's the Holy Spirit working. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's the Holy Spirit working. Convicting, working in your heart of hearts. That's why we encourage everybody, don't miss the praise and worship time. Don't miss it. If you have the opportunity to come early, come early and be here when this present worship happening. Don't miss it. Because that's that's the power or the dynamics that's in the present worship. It breaks the hardness of the heart. Because all of us, during all that week, we face all different kinds of situations and circumstances. And we come on that Sunday morning, you know, we're all over the place. Yeah. And the praise and worship brings us together to a place. And when we are there, now we are ready to worship. It's like plowing the ground. That's what praise is. It's plowing the ground. Plowing it. Plowing it. Plowing it. And then when we are ready to worship, and we worship God, and when we are up there, now you are ready to receive the word of God. It's like an aeroplane on the runway. Praise the Lord. Do you understand now? Amen? Hallelujah. Any questions? Don't take your salvation casually. Amen? Celebrate your salvation. Praise the Lord. But don't abuse it. Amen? Amen. Celebrate your salvation, but don't abuse it. Just because you are saved, that doesn't mean now you have the license to commit sin. Hello? Amen. Praise the Lord. Just because we are saved, that doesn't mean now we are free to do whatever we want to do. Because God is merciful. No, that's not the way we, it happens. Amen? A true Christian doesn't find a way to sin. A true Christian tries to stay away and avoid sin. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Speak to me, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Who can be saved? Who can be saved? Can everybody be saved? Yes. Okay. Let's read. John 3.16 is an often quoted verse 
for good reason. It declares, for God so, keep going. Uh -huh. You notice the word there, whoever. Whoever. Whoever means anybody and anyone. Praise the Lord. It includes everybody and it excludes no one. Understand that? Includes everybody. Excludes nobody. Yeah? God, Parmeshwar, wants everybody to be saved. Praise the Lord. Amen. Whoever believes in Jesus can be saved. He extends the invitation of salvation to all. Galatians 3, 27 and 28 says, For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. Let's put it in the Fiji context. There is neither Indian or Fijian. Oh, heaven, sorry. There is neither Indo-Fijian or Itoke. I have to change this. I'm so used to Indian and Fijian, but you know. Eh? There's no Indo-Fijian and there's no Itoke, Fijian. In the eyes of God, when, eh, when we come to Christ, when we get saved, we are all the same in Christ. Come on. Amen. We're all the same. No matter whether you come from a chiefly clan or you come from the common clan. Whether you come from a high caste or whether you come from the low caste. In Christ, there's no caste system. In Christ, there's no race. There's only one race, the born again race. Amen. Amen. Understand that. Stop seeing yourself as an Indian Christian. You're not an Indian Christian, you're a Christian. Amen? Amen. Amen. Yeah. Because sometimes we put barriers up ourselves. You know, I mean, that's the Fijian meeting. No, there's no Fijian meeting there. If Christ is worship there, that's where we should be. If Christ is worship here, that's where we should be. There's no Indian church, there's no Fijian church. It is Christ church. It is Parmeshwar's church. The church doesn't belong to anybody except Parmeshwar. Hallelujah. Can the church say Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free. There is no male and female. The women sit on this side and the men sit on that side. No. No female, no male. We're all the same in Christ. In other words, we had Christ treats every one of us the same. He doesn't favor some people and some people no. No, it's all the same. One rule applies to everybody. Praise the Lord. Amen. Jesus is the great unifier of humanity. He does not exclude people from salvation, but lovingly offers it to all. Praise the Lord. Amen. So everybody can get saved. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Our job is to make sure that each and everyone has an opportunity to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. So, yeah. praise the Lord. That's where the Great Commission comes in. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we read it together? Two, three. Good works in order to be saved, but this couldn't be further from the truth. That's right. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Some people think that I have to do this, I have to do that, I have to do this, and I have to do that. Then Parmesan will look down and say, what a good person that is. This is your reward, salvation. Doesn't work like that. Praise the Lord. Romans 3 makes it clear that no human is righteous. Amen? Amen? We cannot do good on our own. Romans 3 also explains that it is only God's grace received through faith that 
we are justified or saved. Praise the Lord. Amen. Eh? So salvation is given by grace. Eh? Parmeshwar gives it by grace, but each and every one of us must receive it by faith. Praise the Lord. Do you understand that? Given by grace, received by faith. If you write that down, you will never be confused about your salvation. Given by grace, received by faith. Hmm? Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 and 9 says, For by grace you have been saved. Through what? Through faith. And this is not your own doing. You didn't do anything. You didn't earn your salvation. It is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. None of us can boast about that we are saved. None of us can boast about that we are Christian. None of us can boast about that we are coming to church now. Praise the Lord. Amen. Therefore, we do not have to be a good person in order to be saved. In fact, we can't be. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Take the pressure of yourself. Amen. Take the pressure of yourself. You don't have to do anything to please Parmeshwar. Amen. You just have to believe his word. Believe the word of Parmeshwar and act or obey it. Praise the Lord. By faith. That will please him more than anything you do. <coughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Any questions so far? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But now God has shown us a different way of being right in his sight. Not by obeying the law but by the way promised in the scriptures long ago. We are made right in God's sight when we trust in Jesus. Do you see that? To take away our sins and we all can be saved in this same way. No matter who we are or what we have done. Hannah, praise the Lord. For all have sinned and all fall short of God's righteous and glorious standard. Yet now God in his gracious kindness declares us not guilty. He has done this through Christ Jesus who has freed us by taking away our sins. For God sent Jesus to take the punishment of our sins and to satisfy God's anger. Remember that word anger? We, last night we talked about wrath or the wrath of God. That's what the anger is. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are made right with God when we believe that Jesus shed blood, sacrificing his life for us. God was being entirely fair and just when he did not punish those who sinned in former times or in previous times. And he is entirely fair and just in this present time when he declares sinners to be right in his sight because they believe in Jesus. Amen? There is salvation right there. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, are you glad you are happy now? Are you glad that you are saved now? Praise the Lord. Nobody saying amen now. Eh? Amen. All very quiet. <coughs> Can you read the first uh, uh, paragraph there please? Two, three. How many of us we thought like this? We think that we have done something wrong, eh? too big a sin, eh? we've done bad things that God cannot save us, God cannot accept us, and we are afraid. Hallelujah to pray the salvation prayer. How many of you actually thought like that? And that's one of the reasons that stopped you from receiving Jesus Christ. Amen? Let me say it like this. Sin has no color and sin has no size. Amen? Sin has no color. There's no black sin. There's no white sin. And sin has no size. 
There's no size small sin, size medium sin, size large sin, extra large, 2XL, 3XL, 4XL sin. There's no sizes in sin. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. Sin is sin. That's it. There's no size, there's no color. Eh? Sometimes we point the finger at other people. Look at that person. Look at that person. But we forget. We ourselves too. We got problem. We got sin in our life. We make mistakes. Hallelujah. Nobody talking now because I'm coming to your backyard now. I'm looking into your room right now. Praise the Lord. All the unkept clothes and everything, hallelujah, unwashed dishes, amen? Praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise the Lord. If we're not busy pointing the faults and the weaknesses of other people, when just look to Parameshwar, we won't notice anything, eh? There's a story that uh, one lady in the church, eh? Sorry to all the ladies, but uh, it's just a story. And uh, she came to the pastor one day, pastor, you know, you see that lady over there, are you, that lady, you know, doing this and doing that and doing that. And you know, that man over there, are you, that man doing this, doing that. And uh, the teenagers over there, are you, they doing this and doing that, doing this and doing that. And the pastor said, went and filled up a glass of water, gave it to her, and, 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 and told her, you walk around the church, make sure no water spill on the ground. I want you to walk around and do seven times while we're praising and worshiping and while, you know, through the service. So she grabbed the glass of water, praise the Lord, and begin to walk while the church service is on. Walk around and walk around and walk around and walk around and walk around. At the end of the service, the pastor came to him or her and said, um, did you see me, sister so and so? She said, no. Did you see the young people uh, doing so and so? No. Did you see brother doing so and so? No. He said, how come? She said, I was concentrating so much on the glass of water that I didn't see anybody. And the pastor said to her, that what you must do, concentrate on Parmeshwar, you won't see the weakness of the people. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Not pointing the finger at anybody here, Pastor, just saying it. Eh? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Paul the Apostle to the Gentiles and one of the most prominent writers of the New Testament persecuted the church with great zeal. In other words, great faithfulness eh? before he was saved. Paul wrote, the saying is trustworthy and deserving of full acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am the foremost. But I received mercy for this reason that in me as the foremost, Jesus Christ must, might display his perfect patience as an example to those who believe in him for eternal life. The last sentence down there says, Forgiveness is available to all who will believe in Jesus. <laughs> Amen? It is available to all. In other words, salvation is available to everybody, but you'll notice some people will reject it. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Eh? It, is, it is available to everybody, but some people will reject it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. You have the scriptures, 1 Corinthians 6, 9 and 10. Can we all read it? 2, 3. You see that 
because in Australia we just passed the law, I think it was last year, for same sex marriage. It's legal now in Australia. And you, we just read that in the scripture. I hope Fiji doesn't go the same way. You pray. Praise the Lord. 1 Timothy 1, 15 and 16. Can we read it together? 2, 3. With even the worst sinners, then Amen. So in other words, none of us, none of us, Amen, is outside the saving power of Parmeshwar. Eh? None of your relatives either. Praise the Lord. You see that cheeky uncle, that cheeky cousin, hallelujah, always make fun of you on Facebook, saying, eh, hallelujah, none of those people, hallelujah, eh, is outside the saving power of God. Eh? They can all be saved if you pray and ask God to save them. Praise the Lord. Eh? It's up to you and up to me. Eh? That's our job. That's our assignment. Praise the Lord. I think in school they use the word project. We have a project. All Every Christian has got a project. It's called the Great Commission. And the Great Commission is that we are saved to what? To save sinners. Jesus himself said it in Luke 19.10. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. Praise the Lord. Amen. Eh? Hallelujah. Don't just enjoy the benefits of salvation and forget about your loved ones. Praise the Lord. Eh? Because one time, you and me, we were also outside. Amen? You think about that time before you got saved. Where would you be on a... What day do you today? Wednesday. Where would you be on a Wednesday night like this? In a school holiday with a hibiscus just around the corner there. Where would you be? If you weren't a Christian, if you weren't saved. Can you remember? Just a few years back. We won't talk about it right now, but you know, we can discuss it over a cup of tea tonight after the service. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Are we done some naughty things? Amen. Not everybody here perfect. Anybody here perfect? Lift your hands. Nobody perfect. Good. Welcome to the club. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Eh? Hallelujah. Anyone who wants to be saved can be saved. The requirement for salvation is to put your faith in Jesus. Jesus. Admit that you are a sinner and that you deserve eternal death, the punishment of sin. The punishment of sin is eternal death. Praise the Lord. Don't leave this planet. Eh? Don't leave this planet, hallelujah, without eh, your sin forgiven. Praise the Lord. Eh? Don't leave this planet. Because if there's sin in your life and you die with that sin, Praise the Lord. Very sorry to tell you, you're not going to make it. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. <laughs> uh, we're touching all the sensitive stuff now. Eh? But you wait. The sensitive is still coming. There's more sensitive stuff to come. Believe that Jesus is he who says he is. God in human flesh who lived a perfect life to fulfill the law. Then died the death we deserve in our place. Notice that Jesus was our substitution. Amen? Amen? Jesus is our substitution. We should have died on that cross because of our sins. But he died so that we could live. Amen? Amen. He died. He took our place so that we could live. Amen? Hallelujah. 
He was judged guilty so that we, praise the Lord, could be exonerated from the punishment of sin. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Eh? Then rose again victorious over death and offered salvation to all who would believe in him. Trust that God has applied Jesus' sacrifice to your account. Leave behind the emptiness of trying to save yourself or trying to live your life apart from God. Amen. I think Pastor Tish asked that last night. Can you be coming to church? Eh? Refuse or reject Jesus Christ to be your savior and still be saved? Many, many people are there, right there, today in the churches. They come to church, come in, come out, come in, go out, come in, go out, but never, never receive Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. Praise the Lord. A lot of people in churches, many churches are filled with those kind of people. Praise the Lord. Eh? Hallelujah. So count yourself blessed to be in a church where you are being taught, hallelujah, eh, the truth of God's word. Not because I'm doing it, or not because of Pastor Atish is doing it, or any other pastor who comes in here, but because of Parameshwar. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is yeah. eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Any question? Hallelujah. This is the common scripture that is also quoted. Eh? 2 Corinthians 5, 16 to 21. Can we all read it? 2, 3. of Christ. You represent Christ. Where you go, you take Christ with you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Just like we've got the Australian Embassy, the American Embassy. What happens if our Australian em uh, Ambassador eh, goes for an official meeting at Government House and just wear the board shorts, t-shirt, and a pair of flip-flop. Would that be acceptable? Not to the Australian people. Because he's representing each and every one of the 23 million Australians. From the oldest to the youngest. Every one of them. This ambassador is representing each and every one of us. He dresses, eh? he dresses like that to go meeting, official meeting at government house. Oh. He's going to get a good scolding from Australia. Praise the Lord. Why? Because he's representing. He's not representing himself. He may be hot here in Fiji, but he's still got a dress like an ambassador. Praise the Lord. Be careful. Be careful. You're an ambassador for Christ. Amen? And may I say this to the teenagers and the young people. Be careful what you post on your Facebook page. Every one of us is reading it. Amen? Amen. 
look at all the teenagers there. I didn't thought about that, Uncle. Ha! We're all reading what you're putting on your Facebook page. The whole world is reading it. Amen. And all the young people say, mm, not too strong now, eh? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. See? Hallelujah. Aren't you glad you came to church, eh? So the pastor can tell you straight up. As a new believer, two, three. Have you made a decision for Christ? Everybody here, you are saved? Yes. If you were to go to sleep tonight and die, you would go to heaven? Is that right? Yes. Everybody sure now? Yes. Everybody, you've got a confirmed ticket? You've got a confirmed ticket? you got your boarding pass? Praise the Lord. You're not going to go to the wrong gate and catch the lift down? <laughs> you're going to go up? Who's going down? If you're going down, we need to pray for you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Eh? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Eh? Hallelujah. People may laugh at you. Your friends may make fun of you because you're coming to church on Sunday. Hallelujah. And you do not do the mischief like you used to do before. And all the young people say, Amen, and the young people, uh, well, you know, I need some more prayers tonight, Pastor, you know. Hallelujah, that devil, that big devil still coming, making me cause mischief. That's all right, we'll deliver you and cast that demon out of you. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Amen, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, eh? My time is up. Hallelujah, my time is up. Praise the Lord. So we thank Parameshwar. Praise the Lord. Yes. That because of his great mercy, hallelujah, eh, he came for you. He came for you. Each and every one of us. Eh, he came for each and every one of us. He didn't leave us out. We are so, we are so, so indebted to our heavenly father because he considered our lives worthy enough Hallelujah, to send his only son to the cross so that he could die so that we could live if we believe in the sacrifice. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. Can we all stand up, please? Hallelujah. I know you've been sitting down for a very long time. Thank you for persevering. Hallelujah. Wonderful God. Just close your eyes right now. Hallelujah. Just thank God. Hallelujah. Say something. Hallelujah. Thank God for your salvation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God for delivering you. Hallelujah. From the power of sin and condemnation. Hallelujah. Say something to God right now. Wonderful Jesus. We praise you and we thank you. Wonderful God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your salvation. Thank you, Lord, for setting us free. Thank you, God, for releasing us. Thank you, God, for delivering us from the power of that devil. Thank you, Lord. Wonderful God, we bless you all in Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We bless you, Holy Name. Thank you, Parmesha. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Our God and our Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Wonderful God. There's no other God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the great and mighty Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the only God. You are the Holy God. You are the mighty God. You are the miracle working God. Hallelujah. You are the God that divides the sea. You are the God that cross the water to the rock. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. There's nothing impossible. Hallelujah. Whatever is impossible.
impossible to man. It's only possible to God. We praise you, wonderful Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah for taking our punishment so that we could be free and serve the living God. Awesome God. Wonderful God. Hallelujah. Brother John Stuka. Hallelujah. Can you say a prayer? Hallelujah, let's pray. Takalilomalan <laughs> Amen. Amen.